Hey, good morning. This is Dan with Putz Ponds and Gardens, and we are here in Auburn Hills, Michigan. We're going to start a new project. A little bit colder out today, but we're going to muscle through it. We're going to be doing a pondless waterfall. This pondless waterfall, let me turn the camera around, I'll show you what's going on. So this is the area that we're going to be working at. We've got an elaborate set of steps coming up to the front of the house. So we're going to be doing a bubbling rock up on the top. And that bubbling rock is going to be the start of a pondless waterfall. It's going to twist, turn, come down here, and then go down into our hidden basin here. Then we're going to have, looks like the homeowner has rebuilt it, but this is going to be a, a pump well where you've got the, uh, um, the old-fashioned pump coming out of a well. We're going to plumb this up and then it's going to fill up this bucket here which will then overflow into the lower bucket and then come out so you have to stay tuned for that portion of it i've got some other video of what it used to look like so this is the homeowner's project that he made several years ago it's not running because the chipmunks have eaten through his cords and his plumbing and everything so we're going to plumb this up to work in that area I just showed you this fills up and then spills off into the lower basin here no pump down here this will have a hole in it to drain right out once that drains out it's going to go right back to the basin itself and boom um, but this guy is a truly a craftsman of his own art him and his father have built multiple birdhouses. Look at the craftsmanship and the detail on those. We'll take you out back. You know, everything from this water wheel that he's got on an existing pond that he built to the hinges and the setup of his gate. I mean, who has that? Not too many people I know. And then there's another one on the inside that you lift up and come across in order to open up the gate I told you it was cold out here there's ice on his existing pond this is just a small wading pond for his dog last time I was here though this water wheel was working there's a little barn he's got set up here you see way in the back there's a swing way in the back over there several carts I don't know what kind of carts you call them, maybe fruit carts or apple carts that him and his father have built over the years. Beautiful piece of property up here in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Without further ado, we're going to get started on our project. It's time to offload the equipment. You can see the area that we've got marked out for the for the basin and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to excavate it but we're going to make it look like a sunken basin and let me show you this is going to be the bubbling rock that starts the water feature. We're going to have a smaller scale. Craig has rebuilt um, this wishing well. Hey puppies! Hey puppies! So this is a small the smaller version of the wishing well that I just showed you and there's going to be a handle on this back side here to pump the water but it's just for just for looks 
we are going to have a pot similar to this one right here so that water will come down into the pot this pot is going to sit on this stand and you see how it's tipped so it'll come out this spillway right here and it'll go right down into the, the hidden basin that we have this over here is the old stuff that used to be on the other uh, wishing well the old wishing well but everything's going to be new but we're going to the homeowner has built it to make it look old like it's been here for a long long time Brian's excavating out the basin right now getting things all set so we can put our aqua blocks and our um, pump vault in Alright, so we've got underlayment down, our hole is already carved out, we've got our stream all carved out, multiple drops in here, and liner is cut, but Derek found a couple holes in the liner, so he's patching those now, so that way it'll be two, three times as strong in that area. We're just, we're not taking any chances that uh, this is going to be above water so might as well get them taken care of right now so we're going to inspect this liner 100 percent for the basin we've got 20 foot across this is 30 feet this way it'll go up into the stream somewhat and then we'll overlap our liner once we get to the top of the uh the streams and start working that it's not uncommon that we'll overlap a liner um just so long as it's not in the middle of a drop between two drops we want to make sure that we've got a good overlap so water won't want to run back uphill good morning it's brian with puts ponds and gardens uh here day number two in auburn hills michigan beautiful sunny fall day um just wanted to real quick show you something that we're doing a little bit different with this pondless install the uh basin generally we like to use you know field stone boulders like that like that you know they're pretty much round um, also cool looking um, but this project customer has um, on site a few pallets of a flat blue stone so what we're going to do is in the basin one of the side walls we're going to use the blue stone that he has. Let's kind of mix it up a little bit. Something out of the ordinary. We'll turn around and show you exactly what we got going. So this side wall is going to be built up with these blue stone pieces. Um, we'll mix in boulders all around. Um, just to give it a little bit of a different look. Some of them are kind of sparkly. Oh, you can't really see it. But either way, pretty cool, different. Just wanted to show you what you got, what we got going. So we've been working on uh, rocking in the basin and one of the items that we forgot to bring with us today was the cement cloth as you noticed uh, there's a lot of squirrels in the neighborhood where there's squirrels there's chipmunks other rodents we want to use that cement cloth like we did on other projects and we want to uh, make sure that we've got um, this thing protected all along those edges so that way we don't get any uh, rodents 
chewing a hole in our liner. Makes it really hard to find a hole in a liner once you've got, uh, in a stream like this, we just, if we can prevent it, that's what we're gonna do. So we're going, uh, we're waiting on the cement cloth to get here. We sent Zach to go pick it up and uh, um, we've got other things to do, but as you can see. So we've got the sunken basin right here. We've got the bib on top of the aqua blocks. And then if you can see right in through there, that water is gonna carry across that bib and then enter in to the aqua blocks down below. Over here, we've got our vault. We've got two extensions on it. We're gonna put an aqua surge four to 8,000 gallon per hour pump in there. We're gonna lead a, a three inch line coming off of that up here underneath the walkway and then over to our bubbling rock. Over on this side over here, right next to that ugly looking shadow is we're gonna put a, that, um, we don't really have a good name for it, but we're gonna call it the wishing well. So as we uh, progress a little further, you'll see uh, our progress. So we're back here in Auburn Hills. We just finished that pondless waterfall here. And let me turn the camera around. I wanna show you how this job came out. Boom. Hopefully the lighting's good. Um, we've got a nice entranceway, waterfall, pondless. Then let me show you up on top. So let me go back around up on top here and I'll show you a view from up on top. Looking down. Isn't that cool to have this right at your entranceway? Got green mulch on both sides. They will be doing some plantings. There'll be a fairy garden. We'll update that next year after his fairy garden is all done. And we'll show you what that looks like. So I like to do a follow up maybe every year, every other year. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And that way you can see not only what it looks like right after we've built it, but after a couple years when plants start to fill in and actually help the water feature naturalize in its own space. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Mm-hmm. <laughs>